What is artificial intelligence? Define general intelligence. One of humanity's greatest strengths is the diversity of our intelligences. Some individuals excel at learning new languages, while others shine in science and technology. Many brilliant artists struggle with mathematics, just as many talented mathematicians might struggle with artistic pursuits. This variety means there isn't a single standard for human intelligence. Consequently, it's challenging to label a computer as intelligent. Computers excel in specific tasks, often surpassing human capabilities. For instance, just a few years after the first AI workshop in 1956, computers were already outperforming humans in checkers. Yet, these systems weren't deemed intelligent. They simply thrived in rule-based environments. Computers' prowess in pattern matching means they can perform certain tasks exceedingly well, making them appear intelligent in those contexts. For decades, computers have defeated humans in chess, and Google's DeepMind has triumphed over top players in the ancient game of Go, which is so intricate that it has more potential configurations than atoms in the universe. Despite their success, these machines don't understand the games they play. They excel by following rules and recognizing patterns. This raises a crucial question, how can a system be so capable yet not comprehend its actions? For years, artificial intelligence has been defined as systems exhibiting behavior akin to human intelligence, yet this definition reveals the core challenge. While one person might view a chess program as intelligent, another might consider their home assistant as intelligent. In 2022, a Google engineer was dismissed for claiming their chatbot had a soul after it expressed fear of being turned off. Other engineers, however, saw it as sophisticated pattern matching, designed to mimic human conversation. The debate persists, is it genuinely intelligent, or just designed to seem so? Ultimately, computer intelligence and human intelligence originate from different foundations. AI shines in environments governed by clear rules and abundant data. Organizations that stand to gain the most from AI are those operating within well-defined parameters, such as web search companies and e-commerce platforms. Recognizing AI's strengths in pattern matching and rule-based systems is essential. When considering AI for your organization, identify areas with significant pattern matching or fixed rules and probabilities. This is where artificial intelligence can make the most substantial impact. The general problem solver. In 1956, computer scientists Alan Newell and Herbert A. Simon developed a program called the general problem solver. A central concept of this program was the physical symbol system hypothesis, which posited that symbols are fundamental to how we interact with the world. For instance, a stop sign signals us to halt. The letter A signifies a specific sound, and seeing a sandwich might prompt thoughts of eating. Newell and Simon suggested that programming a machine to link these symbols could make it intelligent. However, not everyone agreed with this notion. Critics argued that teaching a computer to stop at a sign or respond to language doesn't equate to true intelligence. In 1980, philosopher John Searle introduced the Chinese room argument to illustrate this point. Imagine yourself in a windowless room with a mail slot for communication. Inside, you have a phrase book and post-it notes with Chinese symbols. The book instructs you on how to respond to Chinese messages received through the slot. When someone outside sends a message in Mandarin, you use the book to construct a reply from the symbols, without understanding the language. To an outside observer, it might appear that you are conversing in Mandarin, but you are merely following a set of instructions without comprehension. Searle argued that this process of matching symbols doesn't constitute true intelligence, as it lacks understanding. You can test this with your smartphone. When you ask Siri or Cortana how they feel, they might respond appropriately, but they don't genuinely understand the question. They are simply matching your query to a pre-programmed response, similar to the person in the Chinese room. Sorrell's argument suggested that merely processing symbols doesn't lead to genuine intelligence. Despite these criticisms, physical symbol systems dominated AI research for 25 years. Ultimately, the complexity of programming all potential symbol combinations proved unmanageable, leading to an explosion of possibilities that even the largest phrasebook couldn't cover. Thus, many philosophers, including Searle, contended that this approach would never achieve true intelligence. Strong versus weak AI. So, when can we say a computer system is truly intelligent? Simply put, 
when a computer merely matches symbols, it's akin to using a sophisticated phrasebook. The system might appear smart, but it's more like a parrot with excellent recall. Philosopher John Searle introduced the concept of two types of artificial intelligence, strong AI and weak AI. He argued that truly intelligent systems are much further off than many believe. Strong AI refers to machines exhibiting behaviors you'd expect from a person, such as emotions, humor, and purpose. Think science fiction characters like C-3PO or Commander Data. On the other hand, weak AI, like Apple's Siri, is designed for specific, narrow tasks such as converting speech to text or organizing photos. Most AI research today focuses on developing and enhancing weak AI, while strong AI remains largely fictional. In the 1970s and 80s, weak AI was often implemented through symbolic systems known as expert systems. These systems relied on detailed, expert-created steps to solve complex problems, giving an illusion of intelligence. For example, in medical applications, a nurse might input symptoms into a computer, which would follow a series of program checks to suggest a diagnosis. To the patient, it seemed like an intelligent diagnosis, but the system was simply following preset patterns, much like the phrasebook in Sorrel's Chinese Room experiment. However, expert systems faced limitations due to the sheer number of possible patterns and combinations, which made them impractical for more complex tasks. Despite these challenges, symbolic systems were foundational in AI development and are still used today, often referred to as GOFAI or good old-fashioned AI. The rise of machine learning. Machine learning. Picture a computer that learns by observing the world around it, much like you do, rather than requiring explicit programming. Early AI systems used a symbolic approach, where intelligence was perceived through recognizing symbols. These systems, known as expert systems, relied heavily on programmers and domain experts to define rules and relationships leading to a complex web of combinations that quickly became unmanageable. As a result, researchers shifted their focus away from programming intelligence directly and instead explored the idea of systems that could learn and adapt through observation. In 1959, computer scientist Arthur Samuel made a groundbreaking contribution with his Checkers program. Unlike previous systems, this program could teach itself by playing against itself, identifying patterns and strategies through gameplay rather than following pre-programmed rules. Samuel dubbed this approach, machine learning, marking a significant departure from the symbolic methods of the past. His program improved its performance over time, eventually surpassing its creator in skill. The real breakthrough for machine learning came in the 1990s with the rise of the internet, which generated vast amounts of digital data. This surge in data acted as a catalyst, allowing machine learning systems to thrive. With access to millions of images and other data points, these systems began to refine their algorithms and improve their capabilities. Researchers even began to develop models that mimic the human brain, further enhancing the system's ability to learn and adapt. Today, machine learning continues to evolve rapidly, fueled by the ever-increasing volume of data collected by organizations. While these systems excel at identifying patterns and adapting to new information, the challenge now lies in effectively managing and utilizing the vast amounts of data available. Machine learning has become a key driver of innovation, helping organizations uncover insights and drive decision-making through advanced data analysis. Artificial Neural Networks Artificial neural networks have significantly advanced the field of machine learning. These networks are inspired by the human brain's architecture and are currently among the most effective techniques in the field. To illustrate, imagine the classic game of animal, vegetable, or mineral, where you would guess an item based on a series of questions. In this game, you would narrow down your guesses with each question, moving closer to identifying the item. Artificial neural networks function in a similar way but use numerical parameters instead of questions. Here's how it works. The network is structured with an input layer on one side and an output layer on the other, with several hidden layers in between. Each layer consists of nodes, or neurons, that process the data. For example, if we input a picture of a dog into the network, it starts by analyzing the image through the hidden layers, making initial guesses about its contents. Initially, the network might guess a 10% chance that the image is of a dog. 
It then compares this guess with the actual label and adjusts its internal parameters to improve accuracy, similar to learning from feedback in the game. The network refines its guesses by processing thousands of dog images, adjusting its parameters with each iteration until it becomes proficient at recognizing dogs. Unlike humans, the network doesn't perceive features like fur or barking, it identifies patterns in the pixel data. This process requires vast amounts of data to be effective, without it, the network can't learn accurately. The major advantage of artificial neural networks lies in their ability to discern patterns and make accurate predictions by analyzing extensive datasets. Common AI Systems Searching for Patterns in Data In the past three decades, machine learning has emerged as the leading form of artificial intelligence, primarily due to its remarkable ability to uncover patterns within vast amounts of data. The surge in digital data availability has significantly boosted this field. For instance, if you aim to develop an AI system to recognize dogs, you now have access to millions of images, which can be used to train your model effectively. This explosion of data isn't limited to images. It encompasses video, audio, and text, making it far easier than a few decades ago to amass substantial datasets. Machine learning systems thrive on this abundance of data, using it to identify and understand patterns. Take the example of a professional social network offering video training. The platform tracks user interactions such as how often videos are fast forwarded or the duration of engagement before progressing. With data from potentially hundreds of thousands of videos and millions of users, this information is too vast for manual analysis but perfect for machine learning algorithms to process. These algorithms can reveal valuable insights into user preferences and broader industry trends. Companies like Google and Microsoft leverage such capabilities to gain a competitive edge, as their businesses are deeply rooted in data-driven insights. Modern neural networks have further expanded the scope of pattern recognition, analyzing even larger datasets and uncovering insights that were previously hidden. However, the black box nature of these systems, where the decision-making process is not fully transparent, can pose challenges, especially in fields like healthcare or insurance where understanding and trust in AI decisions are crucial. As organizations embark on AI initiatives, it's essential to consider not only how data is used but also what patterns are being detected and their implications for decision-making top of form. Bottom of form. Robotics. Engaging with the physical world often provides the most meaningful connection with technology, making robotics an exciting frontier in artificial intelligence. Unlike traditional robots, which were confined to repetitive and highly specialized tasks, like the welding robots in auto manufacturing, modern robotics is evolving. Historically, these robots, though impressive in their efficiency, were not considered intelligent and were limited to specific functions. Today, robotics combined with machine learning opens up new possibilities. For instance, self-driving cars are a prime example of this evolution. Instead of hard-coding every possible scenario, these vehicles use artificial neural networks and complex sensors to continuously learn and adapt to their environment. This enables them to handle diverse situations, from navigating busy streets to reacting to unexpected obstacles like animals or pedestrians. Unlike earlier models, which were controlled through rigid programming, these advanced robots rely on data-driven learning to improve their performance over time. Google has emphasized that their self-driving cars are more of a data problem than a robotics challenge. Meanwhile, some robots still use traditional AI methods, relying on symbolic reasoning rather than learning from data. This is akin to the difference between a Roomba, which follows a set of predefined rules, and a self-driving car, which must interpret and react to a complex array of stimuli. While many current robots operate with simpler AI systems due to the high stakes of errors in the real world, such as in medical applications, the integration of machine learning represents a significant step forward in robotics. Natural language processing. Communication is a fundamental aspect of human interaction, so it makes sense that we strive for better ways to connect with our machines. Unlike human communication, which is often imprecise and fraught with misunderstandings, Machine-to-machine -machine communication excels in accuracy and speed. Computers can transfer exact copies of information almost instantaneously, while humans constantly seek clearer and more effective ways to convey meaning. This challenge is why the machines we depend on must be capable of sophisticated communication in our world. 
To bridge this gap, artificial intelligence employs a technique known as natural language processing (NLP). This allows machines to understand and respond to human language in a way that feels natural to us. For instance, instead of simply typing a search query like, recipe for Belgian waffles, you can speak to your device and ask, could you suggest a recipe for big, fluffy waffles? NLP helps the machine grasp not just the words but also the context. Understanding that, big, and, fluffy, are attributes describing the type of waffle you're seeking. Modern NLP leverages machine learning and neural networks to sift through vast amounts of conversational data to detect patterns. For example, if the system recognizes that big, fluffy, and Belgian waffles often appear together, it can infer the kind of recipe you're looking for. Major tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and Apple use this technology to refine their services, offering features like email, voicemail, and text analysis to enhance pattern recognition. Beyond simple keyword matching, NLP strives to capture the broader context and nuanced meanings behind our queries. A few years ago, searching, what is love, might have yielded a list of results ranging from biological explanations to philosophical musings, but lacked a deeper understanding of your intent. Today, NLP can provide more insightful responses, including poetry and historical perspectives on romance. Ultimately, natural language processing is not just about improving search results, it's about enabling machines to engage in communication that mirrors human interaction, a critical factor in making technology feel truly intelligent. The Internet of Things In today's world, devices like thermostats, doorbells, and televisions are not just standalone gadgets. They are interconnected through what we call the Internet of Things (IoT). This network of smart devices includes everything from smartwatches that track your location and health metrics to home assistants that can anticipate your needs. These IoT devices are equipped with sensors that collect and transmit data over the internet, creating a vast and continuous stream of information. This data includes your travel patterns, shopping habits, dining preferences, and social interactions, all of which can be analyzed by machine learning algorithms to identify trends and make predictions. For instance, your smartwatch might inform your thermostat that you're on your way home, or your devices could work together to unlock your doors as you approach. While IoT devices generate enormous amounts of data, analyzing this data can be complex, which is why many companies integrate AI to enhance their capabilities. AI helps uncover new insights and enables rapid responses based on the data collected. For example, Early adopters of devices like Amazon's Alexa noticed that their product recommendations seemed to reflect their conversations, illustrating the power of data collection. Similarly, Ring doorbells use facial recognition and machine learning to build a network that can be accessed by law enforcement for surveillance purposes. In the medical field, IoT devices such as advanced smartwatches can monitor health with precision comparable to traditional medical equipment uploading data to analyze patterns and predict health issues. This combination of IoT and AI not only extends machine learning from the digital realm into the physical world but also opens up new possibilities for tracking behavior and making data-driven decisions about health and consumer products. Learn from data. Labeled and unlabeled data. When exploring machine learning, it's crucial to understand the essence of learning itself. What does it mean for a machine to learn? And how can we replicate this process for machines? Consider learning to play chess as an example. You could engage a chess tutor who would teach you about the pieces, their movements, and offer guidance while you practice. Alternatively, you might observe games in a public park, absorbing the strategies and moves by watching others, without direct instruction. These approaches parallel machine learning methods. Supervised learning is akin to the tutor scenario. A data scientist provides the machine with labeled examples and feedback to refine its skills. In contrast, unsupervised learning resembles the observation method, where the machine independently sifts through data to discern patterns without prior guidance. Each method has its own advantages and limitations. Supervised learning requires expert input to label and guide the data, while unsupervised learning relies on vast amounts of data to uncover hidden insights. For instance, Amazon might use supervised learning to identify high spenders and understand their shopping behaviors, while unsupervised learning might reveal unexpected connections between different products. 
Both methods offer valuable insights and are applied far beyond chess, influencing how businesses understand and engage with their customers. Massive data sets. In roles like product management or software development, you're likely familiar with the need for precise instructions to guide applications. Every time you interact with Microsoft Windows or an app on your iPhone, you benefit from a programmer's meticulously crafted code. However, this approach falls short in the realm of artificial intelligence due to the sheer number of possible inputs and outputs. Traditional programming struggles with complex, unpredictable data, which is why AI requires a different approach. Instead of manually coding every possible response, machine learning allows algorithms to learn from data. For example, consider a spam detection system. Rather than hard coding rules to filter out common spam words like gold, lottery, or winner, machine learning uses historical data to identify patterns. You start with a training set of data, where the system learns from examples, and then test the model with new, unlabeled data. For instance, if you use 10,000 emails, 9,000 legitimate and 1,000 spam, to train your model, the system can eventually classify new emails based on patterns it has learned. Once the algorithm performs well on a smaller set, you test it on a larger, unlabeled set of, say, a million emails, to refine its accuracy. This process, known as binary classification, is a common machine learning application where the goal is to categorize data into one of two groups. The essence of machine learning is its reliance on statistical patterns to classify data, which evolves from the insights gained during training.